have a job. I'm not a sponger, sir. Of course you're not. But you don't have a job. We shouldn't pry, Tom. But you haven't, have you? I've, I've had many jobs. No, but you haven't got one now, have you? As soon as I saw the situation in this house, sir, I knew I had a job. How do you mean, Martin? Well, I, I see a husband and a wife. Good people. Unaware of the bitterness which is growing between them, which will eventually destroy them. Now, look. I see a good woman worn down to exhaustion and despair by her labour and her imprisonment. Yes, yes. I see a poor young girl whose only hope of any semblance of humanity lies in the loving care of someone young enough, brave enough, strong enough, devoted enough and free enough. Me. Yes, Martin, you. But as you set your face against it, sir, so be it. It's your house. Please don't go straight away, Martin. Look, not tonight. All I'm asking is how long you might be here. Now, that's not unreasonable, is it? How much would it cost to have a professional nurse in full-time attendance? Well, well, of course. And how much on top of that for a cook, a cleaner and a companion? Did you like your omelette, dear? Well, tomorrow I'll do a birth bourguignon, followed by a, a nice creme brulee or maybe a, a chestnut cream bacheret. Wouldn't that be nice, eh? And then you could go to the cinema, catch up on the sound of music. Oh, wouldn't it, Tom? Just imagine. Chestnut cream bacheret. Or just a mousse, if you prefer. I ask nothing in return except the chance to be with the girl I once loved. I don't care over much for puddings. Well, there are other things more important than puddings. But I do like a nice birth bourguignon. Five men, four men, three men, two men, one man, and it's done. I must say, a genuine beef bourguignon. I told you it would be. Well, thank you. Thank you both very much. You see, I'm so used to people trying to outmaneuver one, and uh, no, no, you you make me feel really rather ashamed of what I uh, of my rudeness last night, uh, Martina. Oh, Tom. No, sir, it's perfectly understandable. You've every right to be suspicious. It's not easy being a father nowadays, is it? Oh, now, there you put your finger right on it. I mean, you, you didn't know me from Adam, did you? Quite, quite. I could have been the devil himself for all you knew. Tom. I, I've been having a bad time recently. I'm not feeling myself at all. And nightmares and that sort of thing. Oh, dear. But, you know, that's more or less what I thought you were. What? The devil? Oh, well, not literally, of course. No, uh, no, I simply felt... Um... Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm sorry. I knew you'd see, Tom. I knew you would. Yeah, well, why don't we open a bottle of something? I put a seal on it. Oh, lovely. Couldn't help noticing a bottle of scotch in the larder, actually. I'll get it. 
How lovely. Oh, thank you, Tom. Thank you for seeing. Uh, will you have a drink too, Norma? Or... Mm -hmm. May oh, I? No. Well, we'll all have a tot. <laughs> I don't normally consume alcohol, sir. Oh, very wise, very wise. One bottle and three glasses. Yes, I'm afraid we haven't got anything to go with it. We got rather out of the habit of entertaining. Um, are you able to drink it neat, dear? I don't see why not. Not too much now, Mumsy. You'll get a headache. <laughs> oh, no. Only a little. There we are. No, no, I Yes, huh? Oh, sorry. There we are then, Martin. Thank you very much. Very nice. <clears throat> oh, cheers. Oh, a toast. Toast? Um, to a, a happy household. Happy household. Happy household. Happy household. And long may it be so. And long may it be so. Long may it be so. Be so. <coughs> Poor old Patty. She's still a very lovely girl, sir. She would have been yours, Martin, in the end. I'm sure she would. She is mine. She is. Oh, Tom, why don't you, you know? What? Oh, you haven't for such ages, Tom, not for four years. Oh, no, I couldn't. Oh, please, Tom. Just to show that, well, things are changing. Hope is coming back into a... Please, Tom. Do you really want me to, Norma? I really want you to, Tom, I really do. Oh, very well, very well. Go on, then. <laughs> Goody, how lovely. I wonder why no one ever played it. What are you going to play, sir? I used to use this thing in my business. I vowed I'd never play it again. You know what to play, don't you, dear? Oh, are you sure? Oh, yes, please play it. It will mean so much.
Can't you sleep, dear? I can never sleep. Never. I wish... What? What do you wish? <laughs> 